On Monday during the Idi Day celebrations, the 30 year old Namugoa, a resident of Yiganga, reportedly burnt his three year old child, Cyrus Kutosi. That this boy ate leftovers of chicken. Namugoa's alleged crime is probably due to poverty that afflicts many Ugandans who struggle to buy or are given meat on festive days like Idi and Christmas. But according to the 2014 UNDP Human Development Report launched earlier in the day, Ugandans are richer compared to over 20 years ago. We have actually hit the millennium goal of halving poverty by 2015. Our poverty started at 56% in 1992-93. It has actually gone down to 19.7 about percent. Perhaps Namgoa is one of the many Ugandans still trapped in the 19.5% of the poorest Ugandans. When it talks about vulnerability, it actually means that there are, some people, there are some sections of the world population that are not benefiting from the growth that we have. That's why they are saying, let's not just focus on income. The report also indicates that the country's human development index is still stagnant at the 164th position out of the 187 countries in the world. Rwanda is performing, still performing much better than Uganda. Rwanda has uh, is at 151. But the report indicates significant improvement with the hope that Uganda can still join the league of middle income countries if income disparities and gender inequalities are addressed. The increasing need for us to put humanity at the center of everything we do, but particularly at the center of politics and business. During the report launch, the chairman of the National Planning Authority, Dr. Kisamba Mugerwa, while referring to the recent eviction of the residents from the railway line reserves, warned that Ugandans should be ready for tougher decisions if the country is to progress into a middle income status. If you want to change this country to what Uganda vision has projected, Fellow Ugandans, be prepared for hard decisions. But a million dollar question remains. Can the Ugandan government stick to the pro poor policies as a vehicle to a middle income country by 2040? Jingo Francis, NTV.